recently had the opportunity to view a series of works at Washington Project for the Arts called the Shepherd Park Go-Go Bar Paintings. After sampling the exhibit, we decided to sit down and talk with the artist, Fred Folsom. Folsom studied at the Pratt Institute and the School of Visual Arts in New York, the Corcoran School of Art here, and is the recipient of a national endowment for the Arts Visual Artists Fellowship. But professional training aside, Fred Folsom has a fascination with real people and what some might call the seedier side of life. It is important to tell you that his style is realistic and that nude women are depicted in his works. So if you have children present, you might want to take this into consideration. The Shepherd Park series has moved to Baltimore, where it will be on exhibit through March 13th. Gordon Peterson gives us a closer look at the man and his art. They could be very, very much harder in presentation and, and between sort of uh, R to X rated, my, my work is more PG to R rated. Um, the, the shock value is not what I'm going for at all. Fred Folsom is going for a realistic look at humanity. A native Washingtonian whose style has been labeled Neo-Flemish, Fred studied art at the Pratt Institute, but it is his personal experience that allows him to treat his subjects so lovingly. I found myself very deeply religiously involved with Budweiser for a good number of years. I think the best description I can make of my life at that time was I spent a great deal of time and effort turning cold yellow liquid into warm yellow liquid. My part in the Shepherd Park was I lived a few blocks down from there and occasionally I'd wander up there when I was uh, half lit and nurse one or two beers and I didn't think much of anything about it. But later, once I had uh, stopped imbibing and started painting, I was thinking, gee whiz, this is a great way to tell a, a non-verbal story. The Shepherd Park Go-Go Bar, once located on Georgia Avenue near the Maryland line, is long gone, but its reputation still lives on, on canvas. The bar's patrons have been captured in a series of paintings, but in true Folsom style, their fate is left up to the observer. I like to let the viewer do a lot of the necessary work to eke out whatever they want to find in there. Uh, so much of it is so much of that particular painting is left in neutral that you can, I guess, get in the driver's seat and take it any place you want. There's a joy and loneliness there. There's about as much of life in that painting as, as I know. Okay? 
Fred Folsom was once told by an art teacher, the nude is everything, and in recent years he has come to understand the message. Nude women are featured prominently in many of his works, but the artist says in this time of social consciousness, his subjects are far from victims. If you've ever been to a place like that, I think you'd agree that the only person that's not vulnerable in the room is the dancer. There are a lot of jobs that men and women can have, but uh, the job description of a dancer is, you'd probably find it in the newspaper under G for goddess. The uh, intensity of life is, is a lot of, of what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to expose he isn't this terrible, isn't this awful. A lot of people ask me even about uh, the mayor of Silver Springs. Why do you paint these bones? And all I can think is they're just much more real to me than people that are dressed up to be absolutely identical. Norman Lane, or the mayor of Silver Spring as he was known, was a true individual. Although homeless, he was a constant figure in the community and a regular on the artist's canvas. Following Norman Lane's death, Fred Folsom decided to immortalize the character by renaming an alley for him and dedicating a memorial to him. He was a guy that really needed a break, and an entire community made a decision to adopt him and indulge him. They always called him a professional bum, and I think his vulnerability could be sensed by people. He never panhandled. He always earned his way minimally and Silver Spring Auto Body his, adopted him and gave him a home and a place and uh, conversation with Norman would go like don't worry about it another deep insight would be you gotta know somebody know somebody know somebody my work is, is, is about us and not about them. I want to have the, the punch and the power and the impact of really coming possibly to grips with social issues. But at the same time, I'd, I'd very, very drastically try not to strand any of the people in my paintings.